Good morning, Pastor Jay, with your Wednesday devotion. And we have another selection from Ken Geyer's Reflections on the Word. And it's a topic that I really need to hear about and pray about, and that is taking time uh, to pray and just to listen for God. A lot of times our prayers can be like replacing an order at the drive through Give me this, give me this, I need that. Instead of, Lord, guide me, tell me what you want me to do and where you want me to go. So here's our word today is from Luke chapter 10. Now, as they were traveling along, Jesus entered a certain village, and a woman named Martha welcomed him into her home. She had a sister called Mary, who was listening to the, to the Lord's word, seated at his feet. But Martha was distracted with all her preparations. And she came up to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to do all the serving alone? Tell her to help me. But the Lord answered and said to her, Martha, Martha, you are worried and bothered about so many things, but only one thing is necessary. Mary has chosen the good part, which shall not be taken from her. And here's his reflection. Over the years, the greatest continuing struggle in the Christian life is the effort to make adequate time for daily waiting on God, weekly inventory, and monthly planning. Since this time for receiving marching orders is so important, Satan will do everything he can to squeeze it out. Yet we know from experience that only by this means can we escape the tyranny of the urgent. I like that phrase, the tyranny of the urgent. What needs to be done right now? Uh, what's on my to-do list? Instead, we say, Lord, speak to me and tell me what I need to do. This is how Jesus lived. He did not finish all the urgent tasks in Palestine or all the things he may have liked to do, but he did finish the work which God gave him to do. The only alternative to frustration is to be sure that we are doing what God wants. Isn't that a great phrase? You need to hear that again. The only alternative to frustration is to be sure that we are doing what God wants. Nothing substitutes for knowing that this day, this hour, in this place, we are doing the will of the Father. And the only way we do that is through study of the Word, especially the teachings of Jesus, through prayer, and also taking that time for meditation to hear what God's saying to us and how the Holy Spirit is guiding us in our lives. So here's the prayer. Let us pray, Father, I need you to teach me day by day, according to each day's opportunities and needs. My ears are dull, so I cannot always hear your voice. My eyes are dim, so that I cannot always see your signs. You alone can quicken my hearing and purge my sight. Cleanse and renew my heart. Teach me to sit at your feet and to hear your voice. Amen. Well, God bless you. Hope your week's gotten off to a good start. And uh, I will see you again at the Friday Devotion.